Receiving a pass on the ground correctly allows you so many options as a player. With this skill, we'll teach you the proper technique to both receive the pass and even more importantly, how to prepare it for the next option. Receiving on the ground, Mia, the ability to be comfortable when you receive a pass is important. Yeah, in receiving on the ground, what we're looking to do is position our bodies, open ourselves up so we can see the entire field, take ourselves to a bit higher tactical level so we can make whatever decision we need to make, whether that's dribbling, passing, shooting. Great. Kick it. In order to be able to play both technically and tactically, receiving the ball on the ground is a must. Getting into line early and selecting a surface is very important. Here in slow motion, notice how Mia stays relaxed as she absorbs the speed of the ball. This is a very important part of this technique. Also, receiving the ball with a view of your intended target with your first touch is essential. Notice how Mia opens her hips before the ball arrives in the direction of where she wants to play the ball. Any young player who works on developing this part of their game will be head and shoulders above their competition. Kick it. The receive and go drill starts with a 20 by 20 yard box and a smaller 15 by 15 yard box within. Players spread out to each of the four corners. A ball starts at one corner and is passed. That receiving player must open their body, turn and pass the ball to the next corner. Each passer must in turn follow their pass and get into that line. The key is moving quickly while keeping the ball within the lane created by the two boxes. Try and receive a ball across the standing leg Play your first touch through the gate. It's just out in front of you. Prepare yourself for the next pass. Go follow your pass to the end of that line. Okay, we'll start right here. Everybody on the corner is alive and ready to play. And play. Pass and follow. Receive it. Pass and follow. Receive it. Pass and follow. With a sprint. Receive across it. That's it. Good. Go follow it. Go follow it. And relax. Well, when you're receiving on the ground, we want to make sure of a couple things. One is being in line with our service. Then we want to open our body up to basically get a view of the field. So now we can make whatever options we need or decisions we need to make. And then the other thing is our preparation touch. We want to prepare it out in front of us so that we don't have to take another touch. If our next touch can be our service, our dribble, or our shot. So we're introducing the second ball. Let's make sure it's nice and crisp. Let's make sure we receive with a view. Play a good pass. Go follow it with a sprint. Play. That's good. Good. Excellent. And relax. Pretty good. When that ball comes in here, yeah. If I do it with this foot, I don't know what's behind me. So I'm probably going to turn into trouble. If I do it with an open look, with a view, let it come across my standing leg, here I've got a better chance of playing there or playing anywhere. So let it come across your body, receive with a view. Now that we try and get three balls going, get the quality there, receive with a view, play a firm pass, go follow it and play. Quick, quick footwork. That's good, that's good. Be ready, be ready. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Be ready, be available. That's pretty good, and relax. Kick it. Here are three tips to help you master receiving a ball on the ground. First, get into line and select a surface to receive with. Second, stay relaxed and absorb the speed of the ball. And finally, prepare the ball for service, dribbling or shooting. When running through the receive and go drill, focus on receiving with a view in order to hit your target.